Sam Snowflake. It was Christmas Eve and Sam felt very excited. Dad was setting off to the forest to fetch a special Christmas surprise. Don't be long, said Sam, giving him a big bear hug. I'll be back as soon as the first flakes of snow start to fall, smiled Dad. Sam couldn't wait for the snow to come. Every Christmas, Dad helped him to make a snow bear, took him tobogganing and played roly-poly snowball fights. When will Dad get home? Sam sighed. Don't worry, laughed Mom. Dad will be here soon, and so will the snow. Come and help me with these honey cakes while we're waiting. So Sam helped Mum to make cakes and biscuits and puddings and pies. Everything smelled warm and spicy, but Dad still wasn't back and there was no snow. Let's put up the decorations, said Mum. That'll help to pass the time. So Sam helped Mum to arrange big branches of holly and silver fir cones and red berries. Everything glowed and shone, but Dad still wasn't back and there was no snow. We mustn't forget to wrap the presents for our friends, said Mum. So Sam helped to make a big pile of coloured parcels. But Dad still wasn't back, and there was not a single flake of snow. Sam looked out of the window. Outside, it was cold and dull and dark. Perhaps Dad and the snow would need some help finding their way. Sam had an idea. He found some paper and glitter and cotton wool. Then he was busy for a long time, while Mum roasted some chestnuts over the fire. At last, Sam said. Look, it's ready. It was Sam's snowflake. If I put this in the window, the snow will find our house, Sam said happily, and so will Dad, he whispered. It was getting late. Sam stuck the snowflake high in the window and Mum hung up his stocking. Time to go to sleep, Sam, she said. Dad should be here when you wake up. I do hope so, thought Sam as he snuggled under the blankets. Sam's snowflake shone in the window outside high in the dark sky. A single star burned brightly. At last, Sam yawned and blinked and fell asleep. Out in the forest, Dad was still far from home. He walked along slowly, pulling something heavy behind him. He looked up and sniffed the air. Snow's on the way, Dad grunted. Sam will be pleased. Before long, the wild winter weather swirled through the forest, blocking the paths and darkening the sky. But in the distance, Sam's snowflake shone out bravely like a star. Sam woke up. It was Christmas. There were presents in his stockings and lovely smells of special food drifted up the stairs. Through the window, there was a new white world covered in snow. But, 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 Sam's heart sank. There was still no dad. Christmas just wouldn't be the same without dad. Sam started to cry. He tore down his paper snowflake and threw it out the window. It didn't work. He muttered, it didn't work. Just then, a quick cold breath of wind caught the snowflake. It danced and fluttered and floated down to the garden. 
where someone was putting the finishing touches to a special Christmas surprise. Come and look at the snow, Sam, called Mum. Sam dried his eyes, put on his scarf and trudged outside. And there was the biggest surprise of all. You did arrive with the snow, Dad, shouted Sam. And he gave Dad the best of bear hugs. I think this belongs to you, said Dad, holding the little paper snowflake that winked and blinked like a star. Thank you for guiding me home, son. Sam had the happiest Christmas ever, playing in the snow with Dad. As hundreds of little snowflakes danced and glittered for Christmas Day, but the brightest one of all was Sam's snowflake shining at the top of Sam's tree. The end. Good night.